Hello and welcome to Surfer Day at our school um, and Tropical Day. We are going to be doing three techniques in watercolor. Come on, grab your paintbrush and let's get started. The first technique is called wet on wet. So you get your watercolors and you get your your water on your on your paper. See, no color yet. Okay, so just get it wet. And for it to be wet on wet, after you get it wet, wherever you want the color to go, decide, hmm, what color sky do I want? And then you put the color on there and let it bleed out. Now I'm going to wet my brush, grab a little more of a color, and that's the wet on wet technique. It kind of does its own thing and spreads out. And some of us think it looks beautiful. Now, remember, I am cleaning my brush between colors and dabbing on a lighter color near the horizon line. And if I get my colors muddy, I'm going to clean them out. So that, my friends, is the wet on wet. Your next technique is the flat wash technique. So the flat wash means I'm going to mix up the color I want. I'm going for lavender. And I'm going to just do it flat. I'm not wetting the paper, and I'm just going across flat. Now, some of you guys mix it up a little too much, and you get it way too dark, and you can't see your pen through it or your pencil. So you want to make sure that for a flat wash, you're able to spread it without it bleeding out too much so it looks like a flat color. Now, if it looks a little too dark and light, then it's not flat enough. Does that make sense? That means I'll have to mix up the color a little more and do a flat wash. And what's flat wash is great is for doing layers. So you could do layering, different layers with a flat wash. So it's more flat, okay? So we got wet on wet flat wash now we're ready for the third technique which is the splattering technique for the splattering technique that my students love but it's so messy so I don't let you get do it every time this is combining the wet and dry brush techniques together okay so first you're doing the wet brush technique where you're getting your background color down okay so it's wet right I'm adding a little water so I've got my wet brush technique right there now I'm going to get ready for splatter, guys. Are you ready? I'm trying to work really fast because it's wet. The paper is wet. Now, the splatters will bleed out and look way cooler if you can get a really wet brush and get ready for splatter. What color should I splatter, guys? Hmm. Oh, yellow? That's a great idea to splatter the yellow on the blue to see what color it is. So I'm going to clean my brush, dry it off, get my water, and mix it with yellow until it's really soupy. Now, if it's not drippy and soupy, I need a little more. Then I'm going like this, a little flick or flay. Some of my students like hitting it with another brush to splatter it out. So those are your three techniques, my friend. You got the wet on wet technique, the flat wash, and the splattering technique, which is wet and dry together. All right, so if you want to work a little more on it, I'm going to like add a little color where that didn't bleed out and finish your masterpiece. That's the goal. But remember, if you're going to do the background first, wait for it to set or dry before you do the foreground or it'll all bleed together. All right, over and out from today's lesson and from our three watercolor painting techniques, my friends. Can't wait to see yours. Over and out. Remember the names of the techniques if you need them. All right, there. Have a peaceful day.